what kind of leadership role would you say you have on the team? As of now, I say I've stepped up a lot. I talk a little bit more, and I'm starting to let my actions talk for me, so I'd probably say I'm an action leader. How have your coaches helped transition you into that kind of leader? It kind of came as I got older, and I knew I needed to step up and make plays for the team, and Coach Kingsbury set me down as often and said, this is the year we need you, so that kind of helped a lot. Which coach would you say that you're closest to? I'd probably say Coach Shell. He just talked to me a lot, tell me to keep my head up, keep going, stay strong, be positive. So he motivated me a lot. Just telling me to go hard every play, get my all, and don't look back. Are there any younger guys who you're trying to kind of teach the ropes right now? Yeah, I got Kiki behind me, Kiki Kati. So I'm teaching him the ropes every day. He go behind me, and when he mess up, I tell him things they need to do. Sometimes I may mess up, and he might tell me. I mean, that's just us helping each other out. What qualities do you see those younger players like Kiki bringing to the program? He brings a lot of speed. He's physical to be a small guy and he competes hard. Because I mean, when, I, when, when we go out and do seven on seven, I see him making plays. And me being an older guy, I'm just like, man, I need to make plays too. So he keep, he keep pushing me every day at practice to do better. What's the energy like now that conference games are here? I was pumped up, energy everywhere. You just walk down the hallways of the coaches' rooms and you just hear energy all over the place. So that's what it's about around here. We just got to get right, get in, get in the training room, get our body back right, and then we'll be ready to go. And what would you say about the maturity level of the team as a whole from last season to this season? Oh, that's a big difference. Everybody doing the right things so that we can win.